when you're working on longer documents with a lot of text, you do want to have access to some of your standard text tools. And you'll find those up here under the text menu, of course. Right down here are your writing tools. You'll find your spell check right there, your grammar, your thesaurus, a quick correct language and different settings. Spell check is easy. Let's just go back here to our first page, actually. Back to the first page. There we go. I'll just click in here somewhere. And if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that I already have some things marked in here. And they're not showing up on the zoom in level. Let me just back out one, one step. There we go. Now this is an old book, of course, written back in the 1800s, and that was the correct spelling for the 1800s. So I didn't change that. But it's going to go through and Quark will tell you if it spots what it thinks is a spelling error. That's using the quick correct right down there. Now, for a regular spell check, just click on spell check. And as you would expect, it's going to walk you through the standard spell checker and give you the chance to replace or skip any text in here. You can check selected text, a paragraph, sentence, or the word. In this case, it's just checking what I'm inside of. And it's not finding that. And that's just a... It's down below here. That's the, the name of an, an astronomer. So we have the spell checker in here. Also under here, you have your grammar checker. You can go through and check for grammar. See how well the grammar is working if you need to use that. And of course, the thesaurus and it'll go through and check words in the source as well if you want to come in and find other words to use. So they're all easy to use as you can see. Little drop down list. Click on the language option and you can choose which language you're working with. This is going to also control the spell checker and so forth. So you have several languages to choose from if you're not working in the standard English, although I expect that you will be since you're using this training which is in English as well. And then finally, there is a box here with some additional settings that you can double check if you want to. It brings us back to the standard options box. This time, it takes us down to the text section and the spelling section in here. You can choose whether or not you want to have the automatic spell check happening. And that's what's finding Kepler right there. You can show errors in all text frames or just in the selected text frame. You can choose how many suggestions it will show you if it even has that many suggestions. And you can add corrections to the quick correct if you want to. Now the quick correct will go through and it will automatically apply the top option to everything that you that it finds and underlines. Personally, I stay away from quick correct because there are maybe instances where the top option is the wrong option to use. But you can go ahead and do that. Also show errors which have been ignored. Now on quick correct down here, this is going to go through and it'll show you what it's going to be doing as you type if you're using quick correct. You can choose to always capitalize the first letter of sentences, correct two initial consecutive capitals. You know, normally that would be a mistake, although sometimes you want to have two in a row. Capitalize names of days, that's pretty fine. Automatically hyperlink if you have a hyperlink text. You know, if you type in HTTP slash slash www whatever, it will automatically convert that to a hyperlink. Change straight quotes to typographic quotes. Those are the curly quotes. So you can see here the kinds of things that will come in and do. You also can choose to replace standard typing in here with symbols. So if you want typed in parentheses with a C, it will then give you the copyright symbol. Same thing for the R. So you can use this to go through and do some spelling. It also has standard or common spelling errors and it can go through and correct those common spelling errors as well. You also can add in spelling options in here. If you want to, just put in the misspelling and the correct spelling and then add that to your list. So there you go. That's a look then at the standardized tools down here, the writing tools, just to help you work with and write your longer form documents. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. 
don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.